I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is like lots of boats out there just all anchored up already. I should probably should have turned the camera on just a little earlier because the lights were showing up clearer in the dark. But uh, there's well over 50 boats there. So we fire up the sounder and yeah so I always fire it up just on the beach one because it gives you a little bit of time to get the GPS sort of all hooked up and, and it connects up and two it's one of the things I've found like I'm really loving the sounder this is like the Lorance TI5 uh, everything went well install looks great but there is one thing that I'll say about is that uh, I may have changed uh, in hindsight and that's uh, the touch screen really doesn't like the water that much and in a kayak mounted flat like this that can be a bit of a problem because the water splashes up even a big water drop is enough to sort of register as a hit on the touch screen and then once the water pulls up in this bottom section here it becomes a real problem because it's always trying to register a touch and then the screen starts freaking out and then sometimes it freezes uh, so what I've got it now is basically I bring a little like a little cloth with me, a little chamois, which actually uh, helps if I really do want to use a touchscreen. But what I do is I generally just set it up the way I've got it in this sort of tri-screen formation. It allows me to access everything that I really need to. I've got my um, my K's at the top. I've got my battery power and my water temperature, which is very important. And then I've got my normal sonar. My side scan or structure scan runs right across the bottom so I get a nice wide sort of strip of that so I can get a good reading. It gives me a nice wide uh, section to read from. And then my map's up the top which is what I also select as the one I want to zoom in on. So I get to use the manual buttons. See that it's got a slight red box around it. I can use these manual buttons to adjust the maps. And once I've got it set up like that, I work the touch lock on and then I can just use the manual buttons from here on. Now, I do use the chamois every now and then, wipe it up and then just start playing around with it on the water. But especially just at the beginning, through the waves and everything, just so it doesn't wig out the screen, that's how I'll have it set up. Anyway, I better launch, but uh, well, more about that in a sec. Now, let's have a look at this sounder. Because that was what I was talking about. That's exactly what isn't happening at the moment. So, yeah, there's the problem. It's always good to have the sounder actually connected to some power. Oh, okay, well, while I got it open, this will be a good opportunity to talk about the battery. So, uh, the bigger units, especially the touchscreen unit, uh, with brightness up at full, which is really bright, by the way, um, you really do need a pretty good battery. Uh, this is, I think it's called LiPro 4, um, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, sorry. But uh, this is like a motorcycle battery, it's not an SLA battery, so it's not those big heavy 7 amps. It's the same size as a 7 amp SLA, but it weighs probably about 800 grams or something, so it's really light, like I could throw it around. Um, weighs almost nothing. This one is not a deep cycle um, battery, which is... I wanted like a deep cycle one or one and not like this is basically for kicking over a motorbike so it's got high cold cranking amps but not good for slow draw necessarily but I got impatient waiting for the one that I was really wanted <laughs> so I just basically went down to the shop and bought this one instead. Not the cheapest option, I think it was about 150 bucks which is uh you know you can buy many SLAs for that price but they're much heavier. There we go now we're talking. Yeah, but that, that battery is, uh, I was worried that it wouldn't last the whole time, but if I turn my brightness down one click, it lasts, you know, the whole fishing trip, or most of my fishing trips. I think during comp time I might have to bring a bigger battery, or maybe two, or an SLA or something, for a second session. But for now, this one seems to last, you know, I get at least five hours out of it. Okay, touch screen's ready to go, except, and we're back on. Now we just gotta wait till the GPS hooks up. And all of that, clip the transducer on. You know what? I probably should be showing that. 
So this is the transducer. I've got quite a few questions on the transducer and sort of how I made it. So particularly suited to my kind of kayak because it's got these thin sort of side foot foot uh, foot pedals which go in and it gives you that nice thin edge. So you can just make a nice hook. Hopefully that's turning up. So basically I just got a piece of aluminium, sharp bend at the top, hook it around, slowly curve it around the side of the kayak. It takes a bit of bending, but you slowly sort of get it into the right shape. Trying to make it as streamlined as possible. And then I had to deal with this cable, which is a bummer, which comes at the front. So basically that went around the side and up. And basically it just hooks on straight over and good to go. Hello? <laughs> so the plan is, hopefully, normally when I go over this shallow sort of area here where it comes right up, it's only really four meters, I usually get like a tailor or something. The plan was to hopefully pick up a tailor and pop it on as a livey while I just sort of zip around the reef casting slugs. <sighs> See if the plan works out. I've got two slugs out the back now. It's not working out. and slugs for them just when you get that hook up with the rod in your hand but I think I've got another hour or something I might as well just go for a bit of a troll I've got a couple of spotties so let someone else take my spot and go for a cruise you never know might be something more exciting waiting for me out here so I might as well give it a go oh I like the look of this see this scum line so I might uh, sort of hang around this edge. So sort of do a little lap around here. You'd like to think at least something would be hanging around. The way I'm gonna ambush things that come in and out of there. <laughs> 